In this short video, we'll take you through a step-by-step -step process on how to install the UnGuard security door brace. Keep in mind, the drilling steps require practical experience with a drill. If you're a do-it-yourselfer and handy with a drill, it's the right kind of small project for you. If not, we suggest hiring a professional. You'll need to have a high-power cordless or plug-in drill for this project. Everything else is supplied in the box. Keep in mind this video pertains to wood floors. If your dwelling contains cement, tile, or stone floors, we strongly suggest hiring a professional. Before you begin, inventory all of your parts. Five screws, you'll only need four. One drill bit and one Phillips head driver bit. The top block and the bottom floor plate. Now, make sure your door is closed and place the bottom plate against the threshold of the door. Close and open the door two or three times, making sure the bottom of the door clears the plate. In the unlikely event the weather stripping located at the base of your door gently touches the plate, that's perfectly fine. Again, making sure the door is closed, now place the entire brace assembly against the threshold of the door. Note that the arrows on the bottom floor plate and the top block face the door. You should be able to lift the top block straight up without the shock absorbers hitting the door. If not, simply slide back the assembly until the shock absorbers no longer touch the door. Holding the entire brace assembly in place, use a pencil or marker to mark the location for each screw. Next, remove the entire brace and using the included drill bit, drill a one and a half to two inch pilot hole for each of the four screw locations. However unlikely, it's always a good idea before you begin drilling to make sure there is no electrical or plumbing directly under the floor. Remember as you drill each pilot hole, it's very important you keep the drill bit straight and avoid drilling at an angle. This ensures proper installation of each screw. Next, remove the drill bit and insert the included Phillips head driver bit. Make sure the door is open and now align the holes on the bottom plate with the pilot holes in the floor. With the holes aligned, insert the first screw in the inside position shown here. To ensure proper installation, insert the screws in the order shown. Be careful not to over tighten or strip the head of the screw. Begin with the two inside positions first and then move on to the two outer positions. Since pilot holes were drilled, the screws can be installed at an even medium speed. Once the bottom plate is installed, close and open the door two or three times, making sure the bottom of the door clears the plate. Now you're ready to install the top lock, making sure the shock absorbers shown here are facing the door. Close the door and insert the top lock into the bottom plate. Attempt to open the door to make sure the unguard brace is operating correctly. As you can see, the unguard brace prevents the door from opening.